If you're a homesteader, especially just a small scale, which a lot of us are, I think, on a smaller piece of property and you're looking for a tractor, this might be the best one for you. So this is a Kubota B2601. So it's not the smallest Kubota they make, but it is one step up. So you see it's got a little bit bigger tires back in the back. So I love this tractor. I bought it brand new, it's a 2021. Um, but I did buy it for work. So I own a landscaping company and I needed a small tractor that I could just move material with and that I could uh, do some like very small bush hogging jobs with. But I also wanted something that uh, I could mow with if I needed to, um, so I got the, that's why I got the underbelly mid-mount mower. But I've loved this tractor. Um, I think if you have a small homestead and just need something to move materials, possibly bush hog a little bit, I think this would be great. Another reason I bought this one instead of a bigger model is because I could tow it with a small truck. I didn't have to have a big diesel. I didn't have to have a big truck to tow it around. So, and especially if you're a homesteader and you're not moving your tractor a lot, it doesn't matter very much, but if you do need to move it a few times a year, this smaller tractor is way better. You can use a half ton truck. You probably even use like a Tacoma or something like that to pull it if you're just gonna do it every now and then. So as far as attachments go, I have the grapple bucket, I have a box blade, a bush hog, and a regular front loader bucket. Um, the main thing I use is the grapple bucket. That thing has been the best option that I had. Just for moving brush, uh, I've moved like wet bells of hay with it. Um, whenever I touch that bucket and those things start grabbing this huge pile of brush or something, I can feel the muscles in my back relax because it, it helps so much i love the quick connect for the uh for the front bucket that was worth every penny on this tractor the mid-mount mower i'm not sure that i would get that next time it, it's really nice like if you are going to buy this tractor to run on the farm and mow your grass with and not have another mower i think that mid mower is worth every penny but Having a landscaping company, I have zero turns laying around, so I don't use this to mow my yard, but if this was gonna be the only machine I had on the property, I would definitely get the mid-mount mower for mowing my property. So that that's where I think it could be an all-around, like the best homesteading tractor, because you got your mid-mower that you can mow your grass with. You can put something on the three-point hitch on the back or a box blade or whatever. Uh, you can even get some seed. Like, there's all kinds of attachments. Uh, and then the front, having the bucket. My goodness, it's great. I don't, I don't have pallet forks, and I really wish that I had pallet forks. I could see where that, especially buying bulk feed, that would really, really help out. I believe this thing can lift about 800 pounds or so. So you could get close to that 1,000-pound um, range, uh, like if you were getting big totes of feed or something. Uh, but I think even just having pallets of firewood, pallets of whatever laying around, I think pallet forks would be great, and they're pretty cheap. Another great attachment would be a ball hitch, or just for moving trailers around the property, uh, or even pulling stuff out. Like if you're stuck, you can you know just throw a tow rope on on the ball, pull it out, something like that. I think that would be a, a great attachment to have. I did buy this thing brand new, I believe, like out the door. It was somewhere around. 23,000 maybe that's with all the attachments uh, the third function valve on on the front of this uh, for or for the front it's out the door tax everything it was expensive especially if you're just getting it for your own homestead and you're not if I wasn't using this for business I would not have it uh, it's too much money I, I'm just not there <laughs> I'm not not at a point in life where I can justify that uh, for what our farm is which is a hobby right now and just something we enjoy it's not a business with my landscaping company i've been able to use this for that and then when i need to use it on the farm a lot of people talk about small tractors being tippy and now that i've ran this one for 90 hours i see what they're saying um i haven't tipped this one over but i could see where i used to run like a big 65 horse tractor that had huge you know the tires were this big they were super wide and I could put it on hills or it, it, was, it wasn't it was going anywhere for the most part. 
this I would not do that with this tractor so you do just have to be conscious of what you're doing especially when you have weight on the front so if you're picking something up with the grapple bucket for sure you just have to get used to it so you need to take it you need to be very careful and take your time um, there was one time where I tried to pick something up with the grapple bucket and I, I almost flipped this back tire came up off the ground and that happened just because I was trying to, I was in a hurry, I was trying to move a little too fast. So you do have to get used to it. After that, I, that was probably hour number two on the tractor. After that, I figured it out and I haven't had any issues, um, but I've also not put it in any situations where it could do that. So when I'm carrying heavy loads on the front, I always have counterweight in the back um, and I don't get on hills or slopes uh, in a dangerous way. Just very conscious of that. Overall, I think this is a really, really great tractor, especially for the small to medium-sized homestead.